In this problem, we're told what is the approximate mass of air in a living room, 5.6 meters by 3.8 times 2.8 meters. So essentially, we're given this room and we're trying to approximate the mass of the air in this living room. So how do we do it? So the first thing we want to do is just write down what we're given first. It's always what you want to do. And so what, right now in this problem, we're given um, some volume, right? So we know the volume, right? Because keep in mind what they're doing. They're giving you three dimensions. So if you just think, think of the living room as a rectangle, right? And so this is going to be correct dimensions. But if you have like a 3D rectangle, right? Let me go ahead and draw it. I can't really draw 3D things, but this is our 3D rectangle, right? And so essentially what they're giving us is they're giving us one of the lengths. We could just say 5.6 meters. They're giving us a height, right? Let's just say 3.8 meters. And they're giving us a width, right? So essentially what they're doing is just giving you volume. And they just split it up into this, so you have to find it yourself, right? So how do we calculate volume? We know volume is uh, length times width times height. Right, so we can just multiply all these numbers together to get the volume. So they don't give you the numbers directly, but we're going to calculate the volume. So I'm just going to leave it in this form, and we'll calculate it at the end. So just 5.6 times 3.8 times 2.8 meters. But just understand that that's the volume, okay? And so now we've got the volume, and we're trying to solve for mass, right? They're trying to find mass, so we can say mass equals question mark. So how do we solve for mass? So in order to in order to solve it, there's a formula you should know, which is density, which is just this. Uh, it's the Greek letter rho, which is kind of like a P. Uh, density is equal to mass over volume, right? So notice we're trying to solve for mass. And we're not given um, the density directly, but if you look in the textbook in one of your tables, it should be table 13.1. And in that, they give you um, the mass of different, uh, different things, right? So the density of air, or sorry, they give you the density of different things. So they give you the density of air. You'll find it in table 13.1. And so essentially, the density of air, if you look in that table, density of air is 1.29 kilogram per meters cubed. So this is going to be rho or the density. And what we can do now is since we have rho and we have the volume, we should be able to solve for mass, right? Because according to this formula, um, mass is the only thing left, right? So if we want to solve for mass, if you multiply both sides by V, you're going to get M is equal to V times rho, right? So and notice how we have the volume and we have rho. So what we can do now is just go ahead and plug it in. So the mass is going to be 5.6 times 3.8 times 2.8, right? So 5.6 times 3.8 times 2.8. And then keep in mind, this is meters. And then, or meters cubed, sorry. Because keep in mind, we're multiplying meters by meters by meters. And that's just going to give you meters cubed. So just keep that in mind. And so if you go ahead and do this, right? And then we're multiplying it by uh, rho or the density, 1.29 uh, kilogram meters cubed. Notice the meter cubes is going to cancel and you're just going to have kilograms. So Go ahead and do 5.6 times 3.8 times 2.8 times 1.29. If you go ahead and do that, you're going to get about 77 kilograms. But yeah, so 77 kilograms. Uh, this right here is going to be the mass of, or your answer, right? It's going to be the approximate mass of a living room with these dimensions. But yeah, so this is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.